A woman walks into our blind spot in the middle of traffic, completely hidden until it's too late. But this isn't the only challenge waiting for drivers in the center of Madrid, Spain, one of the most chaotic cities in Europe. Confused human drivers, lane-splitting cyclists, cars stop in the middle of the road. Is it possible for a self-driving car to handle all of this without compromising the safety of everyone around? Let's find out. Tesla's full self-driving is still considered too dangerous by European regulators, which is why I'm once again breaking down Tesla's video instead of making my own. The official time-lapse has significant motion blur baked in, which is something I can't yet solve with today's technology. But if you subscribe, you can look forward to my own pristine FSD videos in the near future. For the first time ever, we're seeing what appeared to be a human female's hands pressing the blue button to start FSD from a parked position. From now on, the car will be doing all of the driving. We're also fortunate enough to have a really good view of the right mirror, so pay attention to objects that appear there throughout the video. This is FSD supervised after all, so we must remain attentive at all times, just like the driver, even though the car can now drive itself just fine, you'll see. But at the end of the video, I'll tell you something that will completely change your view of this whole ride and probably blow your mind, so be ready. Our ride starts out in a pretty chill environment, but soon enough we're about to face the first of many challenges. You can actually see the landmark in the middle of that intersection already. Do you recognize it? To give some context for our non-European viewers, Spain and Southern Europe in general are some of the most difficult driving conditions you can find on the old continent. Driving here is a full contact sport, lane markings are treated as gentle suggestions, and the car horn is not a warning, but a form of dialogue. Unfortunately, the official time-lapse doesn't include any real sound recordings, so here's my attempt at recreating what it would actually sound like to enter Madrid's busiest and most famous intersection, the Plaza de la Independencia. A five-lane, high-volume negotiation roundabout, which FSD handles amazingly well, and shortly after exiting, it slides to a different lane to position itself behind another Tesla Model 3. Was this just a coincidence, or are we seeing the first glimpses of some kind of fleet synergy? For quite a long time, it was believed that robot cars communicating with each other would be necessary for them to actually work well enough. But here we are, a robot in a sea of unpredictable human drivers all around it. The traffic gets really packed here as we prepare for a challenging left turn, and full self-driving does something that could technically be perceived as a serious formal mistake. It drives into the intersection, starting the left turn, but isn't able to complete it, staying stuck inside the intersection. On the other hand, so does literally everyone else around. So what do you think? Is this trespassing against the rules or just going with the flow? As we finally break free, a wild BMW appears, cutting in front of us with predictable aggression. It's common belief that BMWs are sold without turn signals. This is false. The hardware is usually there, it's the driver's neural net that often lacks the firmware update to operate them. Our Tesla, running on a slightly more advanced software stack, politely accommodates this display of public indecency and carries on. As frustrating as it is to now stand in line behind the obsolete German vehicle, the fact that we're not driving actually makes it much more relaxing. With FSD, road rage is something you naturally experience a lot less, because most annoying situations are just handled for you. And the poor human who spent the same money that could get them a self-driving Tesla on a BMW that will never be able to drive itself, that actually makes me more sad than angry. But bad drivers are not today's biggest roadblock. These streets mainly belong to pedestrians, cyclists and scooter riders who operate on the bold assumption that physics is a problem for the person in the two-ton metal box, not for them. This is never more true than in the city center. Just look at these pedestrians eager to cross. FSD was cautious but didn't slow down too much and prioritized smoothness. And this is a key point, that feeling of a smooth, confident ride is one of FSD's greatest strengths. You can see it pretty well here, going through this roundabout like a knife through butter. Avoiding a car blocking the left lane, but then immediately sliding into that same lane because there's less cars in it, and because it already knows we need to turn left next. 
You can definitely see it, right? But it's almost impossible to truly communicate through a video. It's something you have to experience. And that brings me to you. Have you had the chance to ride in a car running FSD? If the answer is yes, I need you to go to the comments right now and tell me, on a scale from jerky student driver to buttery smooth chauffeur, how did it feel to you? Your first-hand accounts are invaluable. And while you're down there, hit the like button. It's the quickest and easiest way to help spread the word about the robot revolution. This most recent lane choice wasn't as efficient as those before, as FSD has voluntarily chosen the longest queue here. From what I've seen so far, I think it generally prefers the middle lane for some reason. In any case, speaking of personal experience, the way it handles stop and go slow moving traffic is also super smooth, despite the fact you can't manually choose your preferred following distance, like you can with the much older Tesla Autopilot. What Autopilot tends to do is absolutely lunge forward only to stop immediately because there's a car right in front of it, which is very disappointing. But hopefully it will soon be replaced by a truly intelligent AI, something like auto steer by FSD we've seen a few rumors talking about. Now I want you to pay close attention to the Volkswagen Golf in front of us. The driver starts to panic as they want to change lanes to turn left, but absolutely block us in the process. FSD stays put and waits for the Golf to realize that it's too late to turn, continuing to follow them calmly. Another amazing example of how self-driving cars can absolutely eliminate road rage. We've seen some crazy situations already, but I'd like to remind you that the best parts of the video are still ahead, because we're just about heading into the most crowded, busiest part of the city center. And like I said, by the end of the video, I'm going to reveal something that's going to change your entire perception of the self-driving test you're watching right now, so definitely keep at it. And if you want to get early access to all new videos to be among the first to witness the actual release of FSD in Europe, consider pressing the join button under the video to become a channel member. It costs you almost nothing, helps me deliver the best videos and gets you an evolving robot badge plus custom emojis you can use in the comments. Now witness a perfect example of road behavior that might look innocent but is in fact absolutely criminal. As we slowly and smoothly come to a full stop at an intersection with an obviously active red light, a lane splitting madman scoots over to the right in front of our car and turns right absolutely disrespecting any traffic rules. In most of Europe, a solid red light applies to all road users, including cyclists. Turning right on red is prohibited unless a specific separate signal like a flashing arrow explicitly permits it. There was no such signal visible here. But why am I deconstructing every traffic mistake that's happening around us and not just focusing on FSD? The unpredictable nature of human error and the limitless scope of stupidity you can encounter on the road can really make you think of better solutions, like self-driving cars which have to obey rules and pay attention all the time in all directions all at once. And the fact that they can now deal even with defective humans and minimize the impact of their mistakes is truly admirable. There's so many accidents happening every day that this technology is going to just delete from existence in the near future. After leaving a polite gap for any rogue pedestrians who would dare to cross, we squeeze through a gap to turn right and the unpredictability I was just talking about hits us right in the face, as a pedestrian carelessly steps out in front of our car from a blind spot behind a bus. What fascinates me here is that the Tesla started slowing down for them a few frames before they were even visible. Replay this part of the video if you don't believe me. Amazing stuff. FSD leaves plenty of breathing room for this wobbling cyclist who once again disregards traffic rules and runs a red light right in front of pedestrians who had absolute right of way to safely cross the road. Thankfully, it looks like the locals are quite used to these spontaneous moves, as the Toyota in front of us suddenly decides they want to go right and puts on the proper turn signal. What we're about to see now is the absolute highlight of this video regarding the active safety of FSD when interacting with vulnerable road users, like pedestrians. A woman walks into our blind spot in the middle of traffic, completely hidden until it's too late. FSD instantly detects her with the side camera and comes to a complete stop to ensure safety while she boldly crosses the street right in front of our bumper. 
There was no crosswalk here and what she did was extremely dangerous for her. A super complicated, unpredictable situation that could have resulted in serious injury if it was any other car than Tesla with full self-driving. Just look at how respectful and timid it is around pedestrians while still staying assertive and signaling every intention clearly. And here comes the bombshell you've been waiting for. While this is the latest and greatest version of FSD, it's been almost a year since its release. The largest gap between major FSD updates ever. And guess what? Version 14 is just around the corner and could literally drop any day now. While the legacy version you're watching right now was pretty much perfect today, the new version 14 comes with 10 times the parameter count, which roughly translates to a 10 times larger brain. And I absolutely can't wait to see how it performs. If version 13 can handle tight streets like these, unpredictable pedestrians, runs on multiple continents including North America, Australia and even Europe, V14 will most likely bring major improvements in behavior around the most challenging situations like chaotic parking lots or emergency vehicles. Now look at this beautifully smooth overtaking of a stopped car with its hazard lights on. Super early, extremely assertive and absolutely correct. I couldn't have done that better myself. What could definitely be improved in V14 is parking behavior. FSD 13 can already park on its own without manually engaging the separate auto park feature and you're going to see it do that very soon. But you're also going to see it's far from perfect, unlike all other aspects of city driving. The car follows its navigation and when it reaches the destination, it automatically decides to find a spot for parallel parking and turns on the proper turn signal. Then it shifts into reverse on its own, a new feature of FSD 13, before even fully stopping and starts parking. Unfortunately, this is a Model 3, so there's no front bumper camera yet, but the newest Model 3s are just about starting to get it, so they will finally be on par with the Model Ys. FSD 13 doesn't yet make use of this front bumper camera, but future versions might want to include it in the training data. It executes a few precise moves that feel like the start of a really good parking job, but unfortunately, in classic Tesla auto park fashion, it finishes prematurely and a bit too far from the curb. The new version of FSD is going to be amazing, so subscribe to see me break it down. But beware, the competition is coming. In this video, I personally tested a Chinese driving assistant that can absolutely go head to head with what Tesla is allowed to offer in Europe right now, before the official FSD release. Click the video in the middle of your screen right now and finally explore the outside of your Tesla bubble. You're going to learn some pretty interesting differences between Tesla and its fiercest competition.